Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna try to show something here. This is um, Doom Eternal. Hello. Hello. Game. Okay. So let's go into the campaign. Game slot 2. Continue game. It's probably gonna be a sluggish video right now. Hopefully everything will be cleared up. Um, because uh, there is something really interesting going on here actually. Let's see. Hopefully it is the same. Uh, yeah, you can see it's a really, really bad performance here. And uh, I'm using the new RT ray tracing enabled. My settings are on the Ultra Nightmare. That's yes, I, I have the turn off. I don't know why I like to turn it down, even if it's not used just for, I don't know, some kind of weird tick I have. I don't use it, I don't want it to be high up, but yeah. The performance are really bad here. My GPU and everything running 46 frames. And what is funny is that we, if we turn off DLSS, which is meant to give you more frames. Whoa, look at that. Now we get... It actually feels smoother. Let me go and turn on ELSS there. My changes. And now it feels terrible. It, the performance when using DLSS should be higher. So, what we're gonna do is something weird here. I, I l read about this on the Doom Eternal's the Steam forums there. So, what you're gonna do is uh, this one. We go low. We apply. We go Ultra Nightmare. We go apply. No, let's try that again. I don't know why it was working previously that was working. Uh, let's go low. Then let's go ultra. is something that is uh, not working correctly here. You need to kind of like ink around here. Okay, we have still have performance. Still have performance. What happens? And there we have. Okay. Interesting. Let's try for fun. Uh, there is something with how the game allocates the VROM most likely. And DLSS and everything just using too much. Let's try that. Yeah. So. You just need to fiddle around a little bit. So I had 30 frames per second. Then you just toggle the settings a little bit. And now we have 117. Which I am capping at. And here we are again. Look, 116. Which I'm capping around 116, 117. And my GPU is at 78%, which is fine. I just wanted to try this a little bit quick of the waiters and see everything, but maybe this will help you if you have performance issues. Uh, just play around with the memory pool and then, you know, the ELSS on and off till you find it running nicely. Nice reflections there, definitely a nice little introduction. Wait a minute. Okay. 
Gamepad. Mouse. Directional. Okay, so. Okay, now I see. Okay, I, it's been a while, so I don't remember. Um, where is my shotgun and heavy rifle? Okay, so one and two is okay. I got to relearn the game here. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> Need to get in a groove again. Be a high sensitivity here. Yeah, let me just tweak the sensitivity quickly. Sorry, guys. It's been a while since we played this. Let's turn it down two notches and see what happens. You. What's my chainsaw? No. Oops. Oh right, it's uh no. That's the one. <laughs> hmm. There we go, thank you. Is there health here? I'm Ah, it's been too long since I played this. Absolutely terrible. Jesus, definitely need to uh, get in the groove here. Nice, the reflections are down there. Not a huge difference or anything, but a nice, a little bit of an extra bonus. So, uh, the reflection definitely. And since it's running so great, like 4040p Ultra Nightmare settings, uh, 117, 16 FPS here, and my GPU isn't maxed out. Like, hell yeah. Why not have that little extra bonus? That's a lot of shiny stuff here. Uh, this one, you know, you should see yourself being reflected. And on the gun, you can see different colors here. And I don't know. The UAC would like to thank you for your support during this transition. Nice. Uh, a little bit of just an extra. You don't really notice it a lot, but us. since this game runs so well, why not? It, you know, this is definitely with this reflection you see yourself here. It's just a. Uh, that's a little bit of an extra oof. I know there's a lot of negativity around this, but uh, I don't know. I don't so far don't see a problem here. I like it. It's a nice thing here. You, this is like obviously it's not uh, unless you stop. It might not be something you immediately think about but just having it there is yeah, definitely like a nice little just extra bonus like if you play this game a lot like this you probably might miss it then uh, you know going forward Uh, 
Are they fixed? Ah, interesting. I wasn't allowed to double jump. I wonder if they fixed that. Or fixed, but removed that you could previously. It's definitely a fun game, even though I prefer 2016 more. Just those little extra like sudden reflexes, they're definitely gonna be adding a nice touch, I think. This isn't the best stage to show that off, but... And here you can see those. It's just a natural, nice little natural reflection. Uh, and since there isn't really a crazy like penalty hit, why not? Obviously, obviously the, um, it's gonna be uh, different kinds of bonus hits depending on what you play, but here the pillars, yes, absolutely natural and nice reflecting stuff here. Uh, it just adds a little bit to the environment. Okay, whoa, stop it. Whoa, interesting. I miss my dash. <laughs> You're gonna try some different stages, so. Just trying to mess around a little bit here. I don't know why I can't quick scope so well. Bad shot. out of practice but maybe let's slow the different stage but this is a um, lot of reflections as you can see and on the gun there's a lot of here and you can see yourself here it's just a li nice little kind of like extra vibrance to the game oh there we go, thank you. The 
guys, let's go into another stage here. Uh, we dropped a little bit of performance, but it's still running really nice. Could drop DLSS down to uh, to balanced to even give it a little bit of more headroom here. It's not a big difference when you're just rushing through everything. Hopefully it don't crash everything. You never know. Uh, to the main menu. Except campaign this mission select um just try I think someone mentioned this being a uh, ray tracing heavy or heavy on the performance at least so just a quick run around checking. Here we have all my guns back. Ah. We notice a slight change in the environment. Fear not. It's all part of the plan. The Super Gornest location is nearby. This is the site where the invasion began. The oldest and most corrupted location on the planet. Oh, that's what. The Ark fought hard, but they were eventually driven out by the demons. Ooh, you can see a reflection going on here. There's some nice natural things when you just just coming here. Just makes it like a little bit of an extra. Yeah, this is heavier. No doubt about it. See the gamma getting changed, the colors nice and blue here. That's the reflection here of the that one, the bone here. That's still pretty good at frames here, but it's definitely heavy, so you can definitely see you don't wanna if you don't want it uh, you know you're going for maximum carnage. remember anything of change change your strafe plasma cruise machines well okay that's the one oh my god ah
Those are annoying as hell. Remember all these crazy little bastards. boy Oh pinky boy There's a lot of reflection that definitely takes some. Oh, we are not super noticeable. Let's see what happens if we take and we turn down some settings. Uh, because I don't really think I'm gonna need it. like Ultra Nightmare. Uh, probably like Ultra is better overall. Uh, we want that one. Like Shadows. Action four. Well, we're gonna keep those because the those should tie in with the ray tracing. You know. Definitely, probably could have that as high, but it ties in with uh, reflections, I get. So want that as that. Geometric quality. Just to see what happens with the performance here. Not a huge difference. To be quite honest, it looks pretty much to be Can we quickly change? Let's just use this then. <laughs> no, that's the... Okay. Then we go settings. Pretty much this. It's higher, but it's not crazy higher. That's interesting. But what if we do... And I want... And I want this one. What will this give me? Okay, the, the, okay the, it was again something bugged with the memory here, it's because now I'm getting... Yeah, okay, they, they need to patch something, the DLSs and raters and everything, it's not working as it should. Um, wow. <laughs> uh, something with the GPS VRAM, I'm guessing, or something else. Because I can see, uh, if you look at my top left corner, it says 8007, 8003 megabyte. That's my VRAM, and I have 8000 around. So it is a just maxed out. But that is just allocated, but still. It's 
uh, where are we supposed to go? I don't remember. Alright, that's... It's nice with the reflection here, and you know when it's working, it's uh, nice. But uh, the performance definitely there seems to be some kind of problem with some settings or combinations. Uh, yeah, definitely is nice. But let's try another stage here and see what happens, uh, because I don't really remember where. Where to go right now, anyway? So I was thinking it was this way, and it was oh, okay. It's nice with the transparency and nice little reflection. You can see that. Yeah, let's try another stage here and see what happens with the performance and settings and everything. Yeah, and I cancel. Uh, go to the main menu. Yes, I'm just messing around with this update to see. Like it's it's fine when it's working, but it seems to be some bugs and stuff that needs to be tweaked. Uh, I think this one was another one that had a lot of like reflections. Maybe they need to like look at areas in the game. Some reflecting more, some less. It is adding a nice little arm to it. in this place looks nice it's just nice with a little bit of like some extra reflection going on here you can see the lights in the metal stuff like that and the, and the gun it's, uh, it is a nice little touch and this was running perfect so and his guardian is somewhere in the facility ahead. That is cool. It just adds more atmosphere, the ray tracing. Uh, you know, if it's working correctly.
Spider-Man, Spider-Man. This one, when did you get the nice wheel following after reflection going on here, maybe? Um, Browns is nice now. It, it definitely seems there's something bugged with just the DLSs and everything combination of it. Because I had a bug where I turned on ray tracing, you know, I could run 116 frames and then I turned on DLSs and my fr frames went to uh, 30, so... Pinky boy! And this is definitely a lot of reflection here, and this one's great, so... It definitely has to be something with optimization of the other stage or settings bug. Thank you. Definitely difficult, like enjoying all the reflection, but they are there, like you know, a nice little background bonus. So. Runs great here. Oh, hi. So, anyone left? That is looks just beautiful. I think definitely if I were to play, you know, like this and then turn the ray tracing off, would be like a nice little notice. All right, let's see us the secret here. Like, it's not super obvious or anything, but it just is there, like... There's a nice little bit of an extra bonus here and there. Uh, should we try another stage? I think so, right? 
It was not easy to fight an opponent worthy of the Slayer. Yeah, let's try another. And once you hopefully, I, I might try to restart to see if. Yeah, let's see if I do these settings and if I rest now. Exactly. Now it doesn't matter. So even when I restarted the game. I could get the bug where I had to tinker with the settings uh, again to like get the frames to be consistent. So, um, unfortunately, that is something to think of. Uh, is it uh, Sentinel? Which one is the snow? Snow one. Well, it is this one that uh, was the snow, right? Did I try this one? Is this the snow one? Yeah, this is the snow one, alright. It looks and runs great now here, so with my tweaked ultra settings. And DLSS. Not a lot of reflections here. You could just, wasn't it, like jump straight ahead, but we're gonna take the long way here. Been too long since we played this. Spider Doom, Spider Doom. And this is the, just the secret one, right? this more the hell priest is somewhere in this facility I cannot pinpoint his exact location at this time Missing again. Oh, right, just just that. Not a lot of reflections here. I think it's gonna be good uh, with this showcase here. little half transparent half reflective here that one doom guy that's the dude here you can see some of the denoiser working the shimmering effect is the ray tracing denoiser um, you know as long as you're moving you're not gonna notice it but definitely where you're standing here you can see that kind of sparkling shimmering effect there but just because it is quite heavy to use the ray tracer. Welcome, Slayer. Is my time at an end? 
Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed season. Please be advised. It's nice. Be around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, reflection here looks very nice. I think that's enough of just showing off this. Yes, it's nice when it's working, but this needs some tweaking, that's for sure. I think that's good enough to show it off uh, it's still buggy uh, I think it's nice you know when it's working especially with DLSS and everything uh, the performance then is nice and the reflective are you know it's a nice little bit of an extra oomph in my opinion but I definitely understand why you're going for maximum uh, you know the max maximum frames you know maximum uh, minimal input latest and everything that you wouldn't want it. I would definitely, if I were to play this game now, I would uh, I would uh, turn it on. If, uh, depending on how buggy it is, it was quite buggy now when I tried, so it's, uh, it's a little bit of like hit and miss, I guess. I'm sure that in a patch, hopefully soon, uh, most of the, like the just enabling bugs will be tweaked. But yeah, I just wanted to take a quick peek. I like, uh, I think ray tracing is a very interesting technology coming here. Um, Quake 2 RTX was amazingly, like, so definitely well made. Definitely things, uh, it makes me think that more, you know, when they do like remakes to go for that. Uh, because, you know, the easier the games are to run, the easier when you add ray tracing it will be to add more of it but yeah i i enjoy this i think it's a shame that it uh, seems very buggy and uh, you know the steam forum says the same it's just fl flooding with uh, people and i get it uh, uh how did this get by play testing hmm um this should not have gone out right now this patch but it is, uh, I, I think the graphic fidelity is nice for, uh, you know, combining when uh, the performance and uh, with the DLSS and everything, when it's working, I think it's a nice extra for, you know, people that want this, that isn't just there for the max frames, the lowest input lanes and everything to just kind of go crazy for those that, you know, don't mind uh, 
lower frame rate, you know, and a little bit more just extra graphical. Because if I were to play through the whole games with the ray trace reflection on and then replays, I think I it would be if, like in my back of my head, like something is missing. So yeah. But I wanted to check it out. Uh and uh, you know my point is is that if you get weird low frames try turning dlss on and off a little bit and mix with the uh, like memory pool settings there or like yeah, the settings in general uh till it like kicks back into a nicer frame rate uh, some weird issue probably could be the vrom allocation being off because i noticed that when i start doom it it just grabs all my vram from the menu and the menu don't use 8 gigs of VRAM, so it's just the game just allocating it, and then probably when it, you know, the game starts up and it starts, it something gets messed up. It, it's just a guess, but in my, it might be that it might be something different, but mess around with the settings till you get the performance back, and uh, then it's really nice. If you, you know, if you just don't feel that it's, yeah, I don't care, you know, you're fine without it. It doesn't change the game in any drastic way. It just adds a little bit of ex extra graphical fidelity. So, but yeah, there you have it. I checked it out. I felt like I wanted to do it. So, why not upload it? So, uh, not sure what the next video will be. Well, I have a pretty good idea actually. So, but I'm gonna keep it on the down low. But it is something coming uh, Thursday or Friday, possibly Saturday some nice video i'm looking forward to do so stay tuned for that